What's going on, buddy? The Jason Nation. My name is Jason, and welcome back to another quick video. This is going to be a couple quick things just compiled into a quick ass video because if you aren't already aware, Wonder Trade Tuesday starts in about two and a bit hours, I'd say. My camera's a little off focus there, or off center there. Um, starts, we're at, it's 5.17 right now when I'm recording this, and it starts at 7.30. So, if you aren't aware Wonder Trade Tuesday is, basically, it's a series where I trade away a bunch of folks to people, and, um, it's over Wonder Trade, as you could probably tell by the name. It's a whole box of competitive-ready Pokemon, and I do a different Pokemon each week, and it's a whole box of that same Pokemon. This week, I'm doing Arcanine, and next week, I might be doing something even cooler. You'll have to find out, unfortunately. Uh, usually how we do it is we just do a light goal, and if we hit that light goal, then... Uh, you get to find out what it is, but unfortunately if we don't hit that, then we don't get to find out. But usually every week we do, so it's all good. But, one quick update I wanted to talk about. Now, we're going to be introducing something new into Wonder Trade Tuesday every single week. And this is going to be from this week forward, and uh, assuming people like the idea and whatnot. So, we're going to start having light goals. There's going to be three different things that we can set for each week. And the three light goals that I have is, one, if, you, if we reach a certain amount of light goals, you get to find out next week's Pokemon. If we reach another certain amount of light goals... We get to have a viewer FFA at the end of it, and that'll be uh, either you guys can pick if it's a regular FFA where we use our own competitive Pokemon that we have, or if we use Pokemon we got from Wonder Trade. The viewers get to pick that, whoever I do the battle with. And then finally, if we hit a certain another of a certain amount of light goals, I will put up three QR codes on the screen. Now, if you're not aware about how QR codes work and how you or what they or what they mean, stick around and I'll explain that. And also, there will be a tutorial in, at the end of the video for it. So just uh, stick around, or I'll put an annotation up if you want to go watch that. <clears throat> but uh, the three QR codes are basically going to be things that you can scan with your 3DS. And using this method that I said I will show a tutorial for in the end of the video, you can get yourselves three competitive ready Pokemon. This week I'm not going to be revealing what they are. They are all mega Pokemon, competitive ready with great movesets, items, all that stuff ready to go. They're ready to use it. You can take them online immediately. Um, so I'm going to show you guys a tutorial on how to do that in just a second. But if we reach a certain amount of light goals and we could do that, then you can also get uh, three free pokes out of it. Even if you didn't get something from Wonder Trade, which is what makes this series good, is because sometimes people may not actually get something. I ran, I've only ran into a couple of people with the hashtag Jason Nation in their message, and not every single time does somebody get one. So at the end of the stream, if we manage to reach this, everybody can get these po these three Pokemon that I'm giving away at the end. Doesn't matter who it is or whatever, as long as we reach that like goal, you guys will at least get three Pokemon out of it. For sure, 100%, you'll get three Pokemon in this. All competitive ready, too, so it's gonna be awesome. Um, and also another thing I want to quickly mention as well, thank you guys, honestly, so, so much from the bottom of my heart for the support on yesterday's video, like, it was actually phenomenal. Like, I'm gonna go look at the stats on it right now, and I'm gonna tell you guys this real quick. Let's go to my dashboard real quick. Um, we got 127 views, 34 comments, and 20 likes overnight. That is frigging amazing. That really, really is, and it, like, it's... It's, I, I titled it, I Need Your Help, and it was an Oras Wi-Fi battle, and you guys came through, you guys freaking came through, you showed your support, you showed your love for the JC Nation, and you showed me that you are really amazing, amazing fans, not that I already didn't know that, but you guys just really came through with the support yesterday, and I'm so, so thankful for that, because it kind of gave me a better idea of what I wanted to do, like, I can even read through some of these comments, and it's just like, it's motivating, you know, like, let's see, you guys suggested stuff for me to do. Um, in terms of videos, because that's what I want to know. Some people suggest, you know, do Pokemon guides, Let's Play, Scary Games, which, by the way, Scary Games, I will be live-streaming Five Nights at Freddy's 3 later tonight, and that will be going up as a highlight on my on my second channel, uh, tomorrow, so if you want to be a part of that, feel free to. I'll probably do that live-stream right after I do the, uh, Wonder Trade Tuesday tonight, so I'll be directing everybody over there, but, uh, that's another story for another time. Uh, do a Wonder Lock, Wonder Trade Tuesdays are what I like to see the most on this channel, but if you want to do something that I think people would enjoy is card openings to make it seem different. I don't know, it just seems to me, though, uh, the top five Thursdays are really good as well. You know, um, I think maybe you should do a Fact Friday. Uh, I'm fine with everything. I'm interested in your team setups. I like seeing your tactics and approaches to things and when you're doing battles. Um, to be honest, man, you do really great streams, and all of them are great. I feel like Pokemon Randomizers and Shiny Hunting are the best, but that's only me. You got this, bro. You're awesome. Like, just a bunch of really warm, awesome, motivating comments that I really... 
I just, I, I, I love reading comments, and you know, back when I used to, like, do YouTube, like, you know, every couple of days and upload a video, um, I never saw this kind of growth, and when I started uploading twice a day, and I just be, become consistent, I look forward to going and reading these comments, I look forward to responding and seeing what you guys have to say about what I can do to make this channel better, and what we can do for the next time, and this, this, that, and the other, and it's just, it's honestly amazing, and I really, 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 really can't thank you guys enough, and I'm in no position where I can do YouTube as a full-time job, and I'm no, I'm in no position where I have hundreds of thousands of, uh, hundreds of thousands of subscribers, and I can like you know just like continuously tell you guys over and over again that I'm very thankful for what I'm the position that I'm in because who knows with the with the rate we're growing at this could be something much bigger than I ever expected it to be and I really really don't I don't know man it's just it's a mind-blowing thing to think about and every time I go on about this I usually start stuttering and losing track of what I'm trying to say here but what I, what I just want to say is thank you guys very much for being amazing amazing supporters and subscribers and i don't really look at you guys as subscribers i don't look at you guys as fans i just look at you guys all as the jason nation my family and i just want to say thank you so so much for just everything that you guys have done so far and i hope to see more of this amazing support in the, in the rest of the year because there's gonna be tons of stuff and especially when i get my capture card grinding out every single day there's gonna be so many videos going up on the channel and it's gonna be amazing but anyway guys Without further ado, I just want to say thank you all so much for that, and I will get to the tutorial now on how to use the QR code that I mentioned earlier in the video. Alright, so the way that this works is basically, I will put a QR code up, at the, up on the screen, and you can scan it with your 3DS, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So, first of all, what I do is I open up a program called PK Hex. I'm sure most of you are probably familiar with it by now. I may do a tutorial on something with this at some point or another, but I'm going to quickly just actually open up um, a... Pokemon onto it. I'm just gonna open up a current one that I have saved. Um, in fact, you know what? We'll actually we'll actually go ahead and open up the one that we're doing today uh, for One Try Tuesday. So we're gonna open up our Arcanine. There we go. That's the Arcanine. This is the Pokemon that we are doing for One Try Tuesday. So as you can see here, he's got his name and all this good stuff. Uh, this is all his stats, all this stuff. You guys can see what he's rocking if you're interested. This is what the set is going to be for tonight. But I already have this saved on my computer. So I'm going to go ahead and, you know, bring it up on the computer real quick. Um, let me see here. I'm going to I'm gonna um, block out the QR code. Um... Actually, we'll do it. We'll do a different one. We'll do a different one. That way, you guys aren't tempted to take this one because that ruins the whole point of the Wonder Trade. Uh, here, we'll open up. We'll open up Sia. This is this is my Chandelure, whatever. So I have this thing saved as a file. If you go, if I go into my uh, open, if I go in here. Uh, Sia, this is this is Sia, right? So I open this up. I open up Damage as an example. Open up Damage, and there you go. There's a Rockhead Tyrantrum. It opens up the file right then and there. So I already have that saved. So what we're gonna do is go to this website that I will just uh well I'll show you this in a tutorial later on but I'm gonna show you what's gonna happen here so I'm gonna open up this website put it over here I'm just gonna kind of uh basically block everything out at this point so you can't really see what I'm doing uh because that I will save this for a tutorial video at some point but some of you may already know how to work PK Hex and that's fine if you do um, but this is just how to show you guys how to do it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the file that has my, um, Sia in it. Where is it? Uh, Sia. Okay, so we'll drag that in here. Here's the file. Drop it in here. It's going to drop the QR code. Feel free to scan this if you want. So if you can get my choice specs to Chandelure, there you go. Uh, have fun with it. Um, now I'm going to move over to the 3DS portion of things and I'm going to show you guys how we're going to do this. I apologize for the quality of this. I'm just kind of doing this like, you know, rough handed right now. That sounds really wrong, but whatever. So we're going to load up Alpha Sapphire and you got, you're going to want to have your actual game open for this. I really apologize for the shaky camera work here. My camera's just being a bit derpy right now. It won't stay, st freaking cord won't stay still, but whatever. You know what? It's good. It's good like this. It's fine. So we're opening up Alpha Sapphire. I'm using Alpha Sapphire on a Mega Ruby for this, just for the purpose of this tutorial. Uh, but you guys basically will be able to see what I'm going to do anyway, so it's not really a big deal. You guys are used to tutorials like this, but we're going to open this up. This is actually the save file that I have my Hoopa on, uh, the Hoopa only playthrough, which, by the way, will be resumed at some point or another. Uh, basically, when I got my capture cards, when we're going to resume that. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and go to the PC. Now, what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to uh, stay right on the screen where it says deposit, withdraw, organize. You're just, just on the screen. Stay on this screen. And then when I put the QR codes up on on the screen when, I, when I'm streaming, you're going to go ahead and hit your home button. Well, actually, hold up. Before anything, before before I before I fuck you up real quick, 
go to organize boxes and just make sure that you're going you go into box one slot one and make sure that there's nothing in box one slot one that you care about i mean there can be something there but make sure it's not something that you don't want overwritten otherwise it will get overwritten so make sure that you don't have anything in that slot go back to the screen like i said on this screen right here and then you're going to go ahead and go hit your home button to suspend your software and then you're going to go ahead and you're going to hold L and R. As you can see in the bottom right corner, I'll hold L and R to launch your camera. So hold those for a second and it'll launch your camera. It says activating camera. And then you're going to hit this button right here, which is the QR code button. And it's going to say searching for a QR code. So you're going to aim it at the QR code. And then once you aim at the QR code, it's going to say URL has been found. You're going to hit OK. Now trust me, this may look a little sketchy, but it works. I've tested this a hundred times, so don't worry. It's all good. Hit launch internet browser. It's going to launch your internet browser. And then you're going to get taken to this website. It's going to say injecting running exploit. Trust me, this I, as weird as this may look. Oh, there's me. As weird as this may look, just trust me, everything will be fine. It says, an error has occurred, please save your data and any software currently in use and then restart the system. Don't worry about that, just hit OK and then launch your Alpha Sapphire back up. Then you're going to go to Organize Boxes and then you're going to see the Pokemon that is that was created, if it can focus, that was created through the, Wonder, or through the uh, QR code. We're going to even open this up in the summer so you can see that it's exactly the same Pokemon that I salved in. This is the same Pokemon that I had in MPK Hex. It's all just because of that QR code. It scans it in the game and then injects it. That's all it is. So if, that's, if you're wondering how you can get your hands on one of the Pokemon, or all three of the Pokemon that I'm going to give away at the end of the stream, if we reach a certain light goal, then that's how you do it. So if anyone asks me, ask me the question in the stream, I'll just link them in this tutorial and that's all there is to it. So hopefully this covers everything that you guys were wondering about. Like I said, you can see this is completely legit. It has the OT DAPA because I'm using my buddy's uh, stats for it or, or whatever, but that doesn't really matter. I don't really think you guys care anyway. Um, as you can see here, it's all legit. This can be taken online and everything. I'm not going to show that off, but take my word for it. It can. I've already tested these out. So you're good to go. Uh, but that'll be for different Pokemon. It's not going to be for Chandelure specifically. But yeah, that's all you got to do. That's all you got to do, man. But anyway, guys, that is all I got to show you guys. So hope you guys did enjoy this video. And I will catch you guys later for Wonder Trade Tuesday. Peace.